two women in San Juan struggle to carry pails filled from a public faucet after the water system collapsed. A group of men in Cabo Rojo, a town in southwestern Puerto Rico, stand in line under a scorching sun as they wait for food. The images in the photographs were not taken after Hurricane Maria hit the island in September. They are from the 1940s. The early prescient photographs are part of a 276 box archive of the work of Jack Delano, a storied Depression era documentary photographer. The collection was donated to Columbia University and arrived from Puerto Rico a few months before Hurricane Maria struck. As the university processes the collection, scholars have taken note of the uncanny parallels between the island's poverty of the past and the hurricane ravaged situation of today. Part of his work was chronicling Puerto Rico's modernization, said Francis Negrin Montaner, director at the Center for the Study of Ethnicity and Race at Columbia. When you see images from now and images from then, you realize that despite the modernization process, there was not necessarily a deep transformation of poverty in Puerto Rico. Hurricane Maria destroyed thousands of homes and knocked out the island's basic infrastructure. Residents were left to cook with bonfires and collect water from streams, a déjà vu of the rudimentary reality depicted in M.R. Delano's photographs long lines for federal aid, food and gas spread across the island, evoking the Depression-era lines in M.R. Delano's pictures The archive includes over 3,000 photographs, paintings, sketches, films and correspondence that belong to M.R. Delano and his wife, Irene Delano, an illustrator and designer. M.R. Delano, born in Ukraine, migrated to the United States at age nine and lived in Philadelphia and New York. He was hired in 1940 as a photographer for the New Deal's Farm Security Administration, where he joined the ranks of Dorothea Lange and Arthur Rothstein who crisscrossed the United States to shoot what have become the defining images of the Great Depression. He was sent to Puerto Rico in 1941. We had been accustomed to the sight of poverty in the States, but never had we witnessed anything like this, Mr. Delano wrote in his seminal photography book, Puerto Rico Mio. What most impressed us, however, was the dignity, hospitality, gentleness, patience, indomitable spirit and unquenchable sense of humor of the people in the face of the most appalling adversity. M.R. Delano and his wife settled on the island five years later, and he became one of the island's chief chroniclers. His portraits of sugar cane workers and urban laborers over the span of four decades became ingrained in the island's historical record. After Hurricane Maria battered the island, the iconic black and white prints raised questions, despite the island's dramatic modernization from the poor agrarian society in M.R. Delano's photographs, was there true progress on the island? Or was it all a veneer? More than two months after the hurricane, the fragile power grid is performing at less than 60% of capacity, bringing the economy to a standstill and forcing thousands to flee. Ms.